Hi, so we're continuing on with our voting methods videos, and this one is about the instant runoff method. And I'm really excited about this method because it's starting to be used around the US in some cities and counties. Um, there are some videos in the playlist um, about this. And sometimes it's called sequential runoff or single transferable vote. There's all kinds of names for it. We're gonna call it mostly instant runoff method. What's so neat about this is instead of just filling in that one bubble, you get to rank all of your choices. And um, there's a lot of benefits. I'll let you just um, hear the, the candidates and the, I think mayor who won um, talk about more specifically about it. But this is actually how it works. Um, so we start with the first choices. So we're actually gonna start with what we had um, previously. We start with the, um, like the plurality, uh, A had zero for the first choice, B had nine, C had four, D had six, and E had one. Okay, so now what we do, instead of just taking, okay, B one, we're done, we want to consider all of the rankings. So. We eliminate the person with the least votes first. Okay, so let's write this down. Eliminate the candidate with the least votes, and then we transfer their votes to their second, those voters' second choice or next choice down. So then we transfer to their next choice. Okay, so let me show you how this works. A has the least, so they cannot win this election. And we would look for A, but A didn't have any first place vote, so there's really nothing to do there. Then we go again. Now who has the least number of votes? That is E. So we're going to eliminate E but we're gonna see, okay, E is out of the race, but who was their next choice? This is just one voter here. Who was their next choice? It was A, but A is already out of the race. Their next choice was D. So this one vote gets transferred to D, candidate D. Now D has seven votes. See how that worked? We keep going until we get someone gets over 50% or we're down to just one candidate. So now we see who has the least. B has nine, C has four, D has seven. So C has the least, which is four. So we're going to take these four, they're all in the same category. Um, C was their first choice. A was their second choice. D was their third choice. So these four votes also get transferred to D, and D has 11 votes. Now that is over half, that's the majority. Also, we're down to B, which just has nine. So D is the winner. D is the winner in the instant runoff method. Interesting, huh? Um, so things that, uh, you know, you wanna be, you wanna just be, not only be someone's first choice, but you wanna be high up on everyone's list to be the one winner in this method. Okay, so that is the instant runoff method, and I'll see you in the next one.